hello friends i am dr ajay yadav so now we are going to discuss a very important thing that you can say is the express revision although uh, i won't say that it it should be enough however this is bare minimum that you needed i hope you would have done your subjects in detail so it would be much easier for you to understand this however if not that then also we are going to cover the most important points in this express revision videos and as i told you this is bare minimum and very important in this i like to cover all the recent update or recent advancements on which you can expect a question and you know that exams like uh, aims in particular pgi they are more focusing on recent advancements so let's start with the history anything begin with the history so let's start with the history and of course in history uh, you need not go in details that two most important point that you just cannot afford to forget one is the first public demonstration of anesthesia and second is the first spinal anesthesia in human beings so first public demonstration of anesthesia was given by william thomas green morton on 16th october 1846 so about this you have to remember year and date also because even today we are celebrating 16th october as world anesthesia day so first public demonstration was given by morton you don't if you don't want to remember the whole name forget about you can just remember morton so first public demonstration of anesthesia was given by morton and that's on 16th october 1846 because even today we are celebrating 16th october at world anesthesia day then second very important historical landmark which you just cannot afford to miss that is first spinal anesthesia of human beings and that was given by august bayer in books you may find separate answer like leonard corning but that was actually first spinal anesthesia in dogs so we are uh, not the veterinarians we are a human doctors so we have to remember about the human event so in human beings first anesthesia was given by august bayer and you know very interestingly he subjected himself for first anesthesia and it was given by by one of uh, his friends he was physiologist and when it became successful on him then the second victim was his friend that physiologist so these are the two most important things most important points i'll say in history first public demonstration of anesthesia by morton on 16th october and first spinal anesthesia by august bayer then anesthesia delivery systems as the name suggests anesthesia delivery systems means which are required to deliver anesthesia to the patient so just to simply understand anesthesia delivery system includes what there should be a source there should be a source of gases and from this source gases should reach the anesthesia machine and then from anesthesia machine through some tubings or through some circuit these gases should reach the patient so up to here you can say is the anesthesia delivery systems like from starting from source up to patient is the anesthesia delivery system so first we'll see the source then we'll see the anesthesia machine then we will see these circuits and then we will see that uh, the equipments which takes these gases from patient oral cavity or nasal cavity into patient lungs also so that's we are going to uh, discuss in anesthesia delivery systems so sources sources of gases can be cylinders and regarding cylinders two most important thing you have to remember one is the color of the cylinder and second is the pressure so color and pressure are two most important things about cylinder that you should know and color is not only important from questions point of view it is also very important from clinical point of view because only if you know the color then only you can identify a cylinder so color of oxygen cylinder is black body with white shoulders so you can see black body with white top and this is just nothing this is just a cover to cover this wall so that dust doesn't enter this wall so black body with white shoulders 
as far as pressure is concerned there are many units which are being used in different countries for this pressure like pas pascal kilo pascal bar m bar atmosphere but of course you need not remember about other countries you have to only remember about india and in india the two units which are being used are kilogram per centimeter square and pounds per square inch that is psi psi uh, so you can remember in one unit and you remember the conversion factor so if required you can always convert it so 1 kg per centimeter square is equal to 14.5 psi 14.5 psi so in a full oxygen cylinder the pressure is 2000 pounds per square inch which if you calculate in kg per centimeter square divided by 14.5 so it will come around 139 or 140 kg per centimeter square so color of oxygen cylinder is black body with white shoulders and pressure is 2000 psi second cylinder in common use is nitrous oxide nitrous oxide which is stored in blue color cylinders blue color cylinders at a pressure of 760 pounds per square inch so blue color cylinders at a pressure of 760 psi that's about nitrous oxide then one more cylinder that is used is antonox 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 is a mixture of 50% oxygen and 50% nitrous oxide so color you can see is blue body with blue and white shoulders so you can see blue body with blue and white shoulders so blue body with blue shoulders obviously is indicating nitrous oxide while the white shoulders you can see they indicate oxygen and the pressure is 2000 psi that means that's a pressure of oxygen and that's a general rule of physics you know that if you mix two gases uh, the mixture always exhibit the pressure of higher gases that is why antonox is exhibiting the pressure of oxygen and the use of antonox is mainly for painless labor it is used for painless labor so this is a mask maybe i think may be coming behind me so this is a mask through which the patient inhale this antonox now this is one uh, this is one source cylinders but in the larger hospitals or bigger hospitals where it is consumption of gases is more and it is not possible to uh, change cylinder every time so there these gases are supplied through central supply central supply so another source of gases may be central supply so there is a central supply room which have big cylinders and then through pipes uh, these gases are delivered to the uh, operation theater through central supply there is also color coding so you will see white color pipe is for oxygen blue color pipe is for nitrous oxide and two other colors you will see one is yellow yellow is for vacuum or you can say central suction and then there is a black also and black if it is there it is for air it is for air so sources of gases we can see can be cylinders or can be central supply so cylinders can be directly attached to an anesthesia machine central cylinders will be directly attached while central supply obviously through these pipes will be delivered to the anesthesia machine but important thing is that when you are attaching these cylinders to anesthesia machine you should ensure 
that there is no possibility of wrong attachment and that is done by pin index system pin index system so pin index system ensure that wrong cylinder is not attached to anesthesia machine and for pin index system what is this pin index system at the part of the anesthesia machine where cylinders get fitted is called as yoke so yoke is that part of the machine where cylinders get fitted so at the yoke they have defined seven pin point positions one two three four five six seven now we say that pin index for oxygen is two five that means at the yoke of oxygen there will be two pins which are positioned at a position of two and the position of five and at the same corresponding distance there will be holes in oxygen cylinder similarly we say that pin index for nitrous oxide is 3 5 means at the yoke of nitrous oxide the two pins will be at a position of 3 and the position of 5 and at the same corresponding distance there will be holes in nitrous oxide cylinder like say this is nitrous oxide cylinder and the, this is actually another part back side if you see you will see that there are two holes which are positioned at position of 3 and 5 so there will be two holes at a position of 3 and position of 5 so so that this nitrous oxide pins and holes match so if you try to fit nitrous oxide at the place of oxygen will you be able to no because pins and holes will not match with each other so there is a very important protective mechanism because if by chance somebody places nitrous oxide at the place of oxygen and patient receive 100% nitrous oxide patient is definitely going to die so this is a very important protective mechanism to prevent the wrong fitting of cylinders and pin index position different for different gases for oxygen these two pins are at a position of 2 and 5 and at the same corresponding distance there will be holes in oxygen cylinder nitrous oxide the two pins are at a position of 3 and 5 air if you are attaching cylinder then it is defined as 1 and 5 but air is almost always delivered through central supply that is why i did not discuss about cylinder of air also because air cylinder hardly you will see or you won't see air is always coming through the central supply pipeline but by chance if you want to attach air cylinder to machine which you cannot actually there is nowadays no option in anesthesia machine to attach the uh, air cylinders also so that in current day i say doesn't exist so i as i told you i did not discuss about air cylinders so theoretically by chance in, in question comes then it is one and five pin position antonox has only one pin at a position of seven heliox which is a mixture of helium plus oxygen if you want to remember fine if you don't want to remember that is also fine because heliox also is, is there is actually no option for attached to anesthesia machine so if heliox is being used that is uh, through separate cylinders so there is no attachment in fact available uh, in all our routine anesthesia machine to attach heliox also that's why i also didn't discuss about heliox so whatever cylinders which are attached to anesthesia machine they are oxygen and nitrous oxide antonox also usually is delivered from outside but some machines there is an attachment for antonox so it's all our anesthesia machines you will see oxygen nitrous oxide air is also there but not as a cylinder coming through the central supply and for central supply i already told you the color code pipe for air is black black so simply you can say pin index system is a very important protective mechanism to prevent wrong fitting of cylinders and pin index position mainly you have to remember is oxygen 2 and 5 and nitrous oxide is 3 and 5.